I started last August 2020. It was just a big empty space. We then sat down with the residents and my question was, what do you want to grow? And very quickly turned into, well, what do you use the garden space for? They wanted a more social space. We had to think then about, well, how do we design the garden so that people can do these different things? So having an area for seating. And then also people started to then talk about growing vegetables and other things to eat. So that's why we decided to do some more traditional vegetable growing. Every Wednesday I look forward to it, 10 o'clock till half 12, and more people are getting involved now. So big transformation really. In the last four or five months, we've really worked hard on it. We do bits of everything. We've got peas, potatoes, all your different herbs, raspberry, blueberry, chilies, the lot. It's helped me out loads, it's made me a better person. You find that people can open up really, really quickly when you're just, you're just busy doing something together. It's an ever-changing group of people who are happy to come out in the garden, but I think that's what you need in a way because the garden itself is ever-changing and build that bridge back between the two communities, which is that of the vulnerably housed and that of other people who are in the local community. If you're in a bad place in your life, you know, homelessness, addiction or whatever, it's a really good place, it helps you. And helped a lot of other people here as well.